Got my coffee now. So now I'm good for something. What is up guys? My name is Austin from Volt Life Proof Grooming. So today I wanted to discuss a question that is pretty prevalent in the beard world, which is does a beard make you look older? Now, whether you've been living as a bearded man for years or you're just considering now growing a beard, this is probably a question that you've asked at one point or another. So today we here at Volt have gathered a ton of science-backed evidence as well as some personal anecdotes, and we've even asked a few women what they think about a before and after photo with a man who is clean shaven and the same man who is bearded, which one they think is older. But in fact, we're not only going to discuss whether beards do make you look older or not, but we're also going to discuss whether or not they make you more attractive as well. And without further ado, let's dive into the data. So I'm not gonna make you guys wait any longer. Let's answer the question right off the bat. Do beards make you look older? The answer is yes, absolutely they do. But the real question here is by how much do they make you look older? Studies conducted around 2013 has shown that a group of panelists who were shown celebrity images, one without a beard and one with a beard, have stated that on average the bearded man looks eight years older. Now obviously you can read all the specifics as well as our own personal research in our article. I'll link it down in the description. But put simply, in an average case, adding a full beard, and this is crucial part, a full beard, to your look can add eight years to your appearance. Now whether you consider that a good thing or a bad thing is up to you. You see, most men who ask the question about whether facial hair will make you look older are younger men. Men in their teens, early 20s, maybe even mid 20s or something like that are curious about whether adding a beard to their look is going to also add an image of style, maturity, and masculinity as well. And in fact, the eight year estimate kind of lines up pretty nicely with some of my own personal anecdotes. Personally, I've had people guess my age as between eight and 10 years older than I was at the time that I asked them. And the most common response I got when I asked them why they thought that way was the beard, this one. Interestingly enough, the evidence also suggests that the longer the beard that you rock, the older you look. Now, to be honest, I didn't quite expect the relationship between beard length and age or perceived age to be as linear as it really was. But this just goes to show that even a beard trim, if you already have a beard, can take some years off your look. So I've got my trusty computer over here and I'm gonna show you this image. So take a look at this image right here. I'll put it up on the screen for you, but I'm looking at it right here. This is the image that we showed to our five women panelists who told us an estimated age between bearded and non-bearded. And on average, out of the five women that we asked, the average amount of years that were added to the appearance of the bearded man were about five. Just coming up short of that eight years that was estimated in 2013, however, this was solely due, a few women actually specifically stated it was because this beard was a more in style, almost a younger hipster look. Instead, when shown this image, the average was between eight and 10 years of a difference. And now here's the interesting part that I have to make clear. There are other factors than just whether or not you have a beard and your beard length that determine how much older you look. One of which is obviously beard color. Noticeably, the man with a little bit of gray in his beard looks far older than the man who has a fully colored beard. And another factor that affects how old you look with a beard is your beard style. And this is the kicker. Depending on current trends and fads, your beard may make you look older based on what is now in fashion. Hence why some people stated that the hipster look actually made the man look younger or roughly the same age in some of the panelists' views. The next factor that really makes a difference is beard length. Now, I think this is due to a simple connotation that says the longer your beard is, the more time it takes to grow. And the likeliness that a young man sports such a long beard is also really low which means that if you do see a long beard, typically the man is either older, has had more experience, and potentially wiser as well. And looking at you, wizards. And last but not least, something that really, really affects the way your beard is perceived by others in terms of your age is the fullness of your beard. This one cannot be overlooked. Patchy or uneven beard growth indicates adolescence. So having patchy or uneven areas in your beard may not make people perceive you as older. So this was just a culmination of our data and experience with beards and how much older they make you look. But now let's talk about beard attractiveness because this is also another question we frequently get. And I think we can all likely agree that we would just rather be more attractive than simply look older or younger. Now here's what the studies say. Evidence was released in the Journal of Evolutionary Biology that stated that there is an interesting pattern in terms of the scale between casual dating attractiveness 
and how long your beard is. The pattern is as follows. It's almost a reverse bell curve. Clean shaven men and those with longer, fuller beards are considered by women to be best for long-term relationships. Whereas, those with stubble or short beards are seen as more attractive for flings or casual dating. And I'll put up this graph to make my point clear. As you can see, the large dip in the stubble category is indicative of a fling or short-term relationship. So all in all, your facial hair and the length, color, and whether it's patchy or not will affect the way people perceive you, your age, or your attractiveness. Of course, this may all come down to personal preference, but here's my two cents on this issue. Don't ever let this kind of data or anything like this discourage you from growing growing or maintaining a beard. As we've seen, there are exceptions to every rule. For example, the man with the longer beard in the photograph was seen as about the same age or just slightly older because of the current fashion trend of that beard. So as long as your style is for you and you enjoy that, I mean, what else matters? So here's a quick summary that I'm gonna tell you to kind of just Put it all together. If you want to look older, just grow a beard or a longer beard if you already have one. And if you want to look younger, either shave or trim the beard you have, as well as use Volt Beard Color to cover your grays up. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed that short little video today. I feel like I'm setting up for a podcast or something here with my old lights and microphones and stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please smash like and subscribe and leave us a comment telling us how long your beard is and the way people perceive you. Don't forget to read the full article as well as some of the studies that we've conducted in the description below, you can find those links there, as well as the links to our beard color, where you can actually help cover up your grays, look younger, or, you know, rock the salt and pepper look, or you know, customize your beard any way you want. It's up to you. I've been Austin for Vogue Grooming, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.